U.S. spy drones followed and tracked notorious British-born ISIS hacker Junaid Hussein for days in the middle of heavily populated Raqqa, Syria, before finally launching a Hellfire missile off a drone to kill him as he stood in the street Monday, CNN has learned. The mission to kill Hussein, the most sensitive for the U.S. in months, several officials tell CNN. The U.S. had to be sure it was him and to fire at him when civilians were not nearby. This is a huge get for the United States. Junaid Hussein uh, was the most prolific English language propagandist for ISIS. Hussein is accused of being involved in the hacking of the U.S. Central Command website and posting a so-called kill list, including personal information and addresses of U.S. military personnel, which caused the Pentagon to scramble to warn those who were named. He was linked to the shooting attack in Garland, Texas in May, where contest participants were asked to draw the Prophet Muhammad. Investigators believe Hussein was messaging one of the gunmen to radicalize him and urge him to launch an attack, making it potentially the first ISIS-directed attack in the U.S. Hussein was an ISIS social media star. He used that to sort of talent spot potential uh, terrorists, uh, lone wolves uh, in the West, and then take the communications onto encrypted apps, almost impossible for U.S. agencies to read. The U.S. is clearly finding ways to track top ISIS leadership. Just last week, a U.S. drone killed Haji Mutaz, the number two ISIS leader. The U.S. keeps close watch on several ISIS officials to see when they meet with others in the leadership, and if there is a top target, that person is then watched around the clock until a strike is executed. This is a career choice with a short shelf life. And you need to realize that if you're going to take it on.